what's up guys anime god here and today we're trying out a new style of what if i mean not really what if but like video i'm not really gonna waste all you guys' time by making a completely separate video saying that i'm branching out like everyone else is doing lately um so yeah i'm just gonna roll with it my top five favorite sacrifices in naruto hope you guys enjoy so coming in at number five naruto the show itself Naruto had the Naruto's show had to lose its popularity with Boruto making Boruto lowered its popularity immensely not to mention having to have Sakura as a character not even lying that's number 5 on my list now we're number 4 Rin's death Rin's death was really kind of um kind of sad in my opinion a lot of people thought that, you know, it was someone dear to Kakashi. And, um, it was pretty sad seeing her die. And it was for the village hidden in the leaves. Her hometown village. And she did what was necessary to, you know, protect everyone. She was a real hero in the end. And, yeah. Next on my list is Jiraiya's death. Jiraiya might have not seemed as, like, some of the more, um village loving person but in the end he died for his village he died to protect his student his village the person he loves Tsunade even if she didn't reciprocate the same feelings as he did for her he was a real hero in the end we all loved him if you disagree with me it's kind of sad she's definitely worthy of number three on my list Number two is Guy going eight gates. He is one of the more prominent ninja of the village in the leaves, or he was. And it was really sad seeing him have to almost die. And honestly, I was kind of sad when he almost did die before Naruto got rid of him and healed him. Because I cried so much during Jiraiya's death. And I thought, no, they can't get rid of my second favorite character. Not not one of my favorites again. And then Naruto went in and saved him. Which was really heartfelt in my opinion. And it was a badass moment when Naruto just saved the day. Like normal. <sighs> and my last one for this video guys. Is the fact that Atachi killed his entire clan for his village and his brother. He let his brother hate him for his entire life. Just to make sure his brother was strong and was made to be a hero in his village. And I can definitely respect that. And it was pretty, pretty heart moment when he explained what actually happened. And it was very, very, very sad in my opinion. Definitely one of the moments where I almost cried in the series. And just so you guys know, I am going to be making more videos like this. So if you're still watching, consider hitting the like button, subscribing, coming down below if you guys like these type of videos. Because I think that they are very cool, and I do kind of like them a lot. And, um, yeah, the reason I like this sacrifice so much, in particular out of all of them, is that it shows that things are not always what they seem. You can't just judge a book by its cover. And you know what? He did a very, very, very thing, bad thing that was not very good. But it just shows that some people are willing to do whatever they can for their family. And guys, I'm sorry, but that's all for this video. Um, Maybe I'll start doing top 10 so that way my videos end up being a little bit longer. But I mean... um. Yeah, also comment down below if you like the intro being the very beginning or you want it to be where it used to be. Also, um, go hit, hit me up in Discord. Uh, link in the description to my Discord. I just made it. There's 20-something members right now. There's a lot of fun in there. We have some known names. We've got some known names in there. So if you join, yeah. If you came from here, you'll definitely end up being a worshiper, which is a fourth highest rank. And with that being said, guys, this is Anime God, and I'm out.